Hi everybody, it's Corinthia. Today on Healthyish Recipes, we're gonna be making um, fried pork chops. Uh, when I was a kid, I loved shake and bake pork chops. My mom, that was one of our weekly meals. Um, it was so good. But if you look at the ingredients, not so healthy. Uh, so we, th in my house, now that I'm an adult, we don't use shake and bake, but you can make it just as easy but instead of shake and bake, we're gonna sh shake and fry because I like the fried version better than the baked. All right, so that's what we're gonna do is uh, fire up our frying pan and get to going, okay? All right, so let's get to dredging. I use my fingers, you can use a fork. I try to, like, this is the dry, this is the wet. Let's get the fork out of the way. See, it's very lightly coated, but that's just so the A can hold on to the flour. Something to grip onto. Non-slip grip. And then dredge it. And then we have a pretty pork chop all ready to go. So we're gonna finish off, I believe I have eight pork chops. And one to two pork chops, they're about mm, a half inch. So one to two pork chops per person is a good, today I am feeding five. So we might have extra or if somebody's hungry, then they can have two. All right, and that's, exactly how it is. So I'm going to finish off uh, dredging the rest of the pork chops and I will get back to you as soon as we're ready to fry. Okay? Okay, so I dredged all of the pork chops. I have uh, the fry pan with about, mm, I would say a quarter to a half inch of oil in the bottom. I use grapeseed oil. You use whatever oil you like. I do recommend the healthier oils grapeseed, olive oil. I stay away from canola and corn oil, but you do you and I'll do me and we'll be happy. All right. So now with eight pork chops, they're not all going to, you don't want to overcrowd the pan because then you're going to steam them and not fry them. So let's see. I'm still getting used to this uh, Cuisinart counter countertop burner. See, oh, the little stinker. You know, when you're not used to cooking something, so there we go. There's the lid that sizzles. Cranking that up. Yeah, but you know what I mean? When you're not used to you cooking on something, it, it's, this is only for videoing, making, making videos on the YouTubes. All right, so this size pan, which is probably like a 12 inch, I would do three. So you're, so either you can, if you're feeding the big family, you could have two going at the same time, or since we're doing it on a video, we're just gonna have this one pan. And then we're just gonna fry it, and it's gonna be like three to four minutes on each side, turn it over, and then boom, then you have a nice golden brown fried pork chops, okay? So I will get back to you once these are fried, literally, like I said, three to four minutes, flip it over, three to four, like three minutes when you flip it over, and boom, you're done, and we'll uh, reveal it. All right, six out of eight of our pork chops are done. They smell so good, and I tasted just a wee bit of the crumbs and mm, yummy so that's what they look like uh it is such a simple meal it really is i hope you try it and uh tell me how you like it if you do try this recipe leave a comment down below um for side dishes baked potato potato scallop potatoes potato au gratin green beans candied carrots i love that candied carrots 
fried pork chops and spinach. Yum. That's like the perfect meal for our family. Um, but yeah, definitely leave a comment down below what you like to eat with your pork chops. What side dishes go well. Let me know if you did try this recipe and how you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to Healthyish Recipes and hit that like button for me, okay? So we'll see you next week. Um, it's countdown to Christmas. Uh, as you can see, my shirt says, I've been good as gold. And that is true, Santa Claus. You can go ahead and make sure you drop off some extra presents for Corinthia. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.